Hey everyone, my name is Paul Wolf and I am an intervention specialist at the high school right now at Ohio Virtual Academy. I have been an intervention specialist teaching special needs students for almost 15 years now. I've taught 6th grade through 12th grade in many different environments, uh, brick and mortar, alternative schools, a regular middle school, and now an online school. I have an idea that I want to propose to the Disney Company, Marvel, Pixar, anybody that could listen in that, um, in that group that um, I would love to discuss. Um, and to give you an idea really quick on my background in this idea, um, when I was about 12 years old, I wanted to become a teacher. Um, when I was working with the YMCA Western Reserve in Stowe, Ohio, we were uh, soccer coaches and soccer referees for a group of uh, you know, little kickers from like two to three years old all the way up to about you know 10 or 11 years old. And the gentleman that was in charge of us, uh, Dr. Zuckerman, uh, who recently passed away a few years ago, uh, looked at me and said, you know, you'd, do, you'd be a really good teacher. And I kind of thought about it, and, you know, with having a younger brother, nine years younger than me, kind of took care of him a lot and working with these students showing them the ropes in soccer and the rules and, and how to play i, I kind of thought that would be a good avenue for me to take and looking at me now just turning 40 and almost halfway through my career i have uh, fulfilled my dream of becoming that teacher um, but uh, back in my third and fourth grade years uh, we actually had a competition uh, in um, in my school where we had to create math board games um, and I wasn't that strong in math and I thought you know why don't I try to you know join this competition and make some math games to, you know, to make math kind of fun because I, I didn't think math was kind of fun so I created two different games uh, in my third and fourth grade years uh, in these competitions um, and won both of them back to back um, an adventure game, kind of like Indiana Jones, um, and then another one called All Star Math, where you competed against your other, uh, another an opponent um, in just simple math math uh, equations and, and, and addition, subtraction, multiplication, division problems, things like that. Anything from very simple to very difficult uh, skills, and so those kind of went away after a while. And then when I finally became a teacher in 2002. I broke out those games. I found them in my uh, my mom's cabinet in the garage, and I wanted to what I call teacherize them. And so I took them out and grabbed some you know s supplies from our, our our closet and remade them and made them for my students because the students that I did have were very difficult. They they were the kind of student that uh, you know they're kind of one step away from juvenile hall and we wanted to kind of avoid that so i wanted to try a different approach with these students and the games kind of worked you know it's a different way to showcase the skills and and practice the skills and making sure that the students are paying attention and, and comprehending what i go over um, that then spawned about 13 more board games uh, based on novels based on science and, and all the other core courses uh, space i did some on space i did some um, history and a lot of them came from um, superheroes and and wrestling and um, and just adventurous types types of games. So I made those. And what's great about that is my classroom became the the one classroom where students did the work, behaved, had a great time. My rapport with the students were were amazing and kind of even a little better than the other teachers that were in the building. Not gonna brag, but uh, it was all because of the new approach that I had with these games uh, and. Um, I started using hero clicks as game pieces uh, because one of the students that um, I had uh, brought in a bunch of his that he had and um, didn't want them anymore and so I started using those as game pieces so um, fast forward to the next school that I was at and that was a regular uh, brick and mortar um, middle school for seventh grade uh, still had more of these games still kind of used the same games that I had before and this time I actually had the students create their own. So the last week of school, they were creating their own math games uh, using skills that they were the most confident in in math. And then that week we had different tables where the students then played their own games and 
kind of reviewed them, tried, tried to tweak them a little bit and make them their own and make them the best game that they can. So that was kind of successful there. Um, and then I, I moved to the Ohio Virtual Academy, the online school, uh, where I then took these games and put them online and made them through taking pictures of them and putting them on the screen and then putting uh, using the cursor that they have within the Blackboard Collaborate as their game piece so they got to move the game piece around. Um, and so that was used for reviewing history and um, the ninth grade group that uh, we had um, actually helped me um, become nominated for a national teaching award in 2012. Um, and then um, I actually won that national teaching award um, that year um, that I was nominated so that was really cool because of the games that I used uh, again Batman was the biggest one that I used in uh, pirates um, some types of um, just adventurist games like that and so I started using PowerPoint uh, to make these games and just this year and uh, maybe even last year as well I've kind of upped my game if you will where I have used PowerPoint to create different slides and so instead of a, a free-for-all type of thing where kids can volunteer and kids can an answer the questions out loud things like that or, or maybe using the polling tools in the classroom I use slides now where they choose a category a B or C they don't have to answer the question just as long as they participate and, and, and select a B and C um, and so what I have um, are ideas now where these games could become an app now, what I would see is, I, I, I could see it in my head, and I just need somebody that's out there that could help me create these apps where you have the game board, um, and then what you would then have is a way where teachers can actually import the questions, so every other slide or every other screen would be a question. Um, and so, and then the other slides would then be those cards that would, they would pick, A, B, or C. So what would they would do, is I can picture a student, you know, touching the screen A, B, or C, and then when you hit A or B or C, a question comes up based on that card. If the student then gets it right or wrong, um, either multiple choice or they can even maybe even type in how they got the answer somehow um, in written format somehow or typed because most standardized tests now you have to, you know, type in the answers on how you got to it. Um, but giving them 30 seconds to a minute to answer these questions based on the skill timer goes off They check to see if the answer is right and then it goes back to that screen And I, I can actually picture and this is what I do with my games is I have it I have those boxes of a B and C covered over um, and then you take that slide away or that picture away from that box and you can see what spaces they get to go forward backwards a chance card a wild card. I don't know a prize card I don't know some points depending on the game itself um, but I can can see that happening with this and I just for me I think this is the best progression of my games that I can I can think of and I need your help I need somebody to find whomever is out there in the Disney company P Pixar Marvel you know Star Wars a anywhere in the Walt Disney company that could reach out and help me re, uh, help me live out this dream help me live out my next progression in these games because I can see everybody benefiting from this teachers they don't have to just give packets anymore they can have them purchase this app have the kids get on their iPads iPods and work on those games with the questions that they may be seeing on the test instead of again here's a piece of paper here's your study guide fill these questions out study them now have a game play learn educate you know something different something new something to make math to make science to make history to, to make English fun again and not focus a hundred percent on teaching to that test bringing some new things in to the education field that could re revitalize it in some way I know there's thousands of apps that are all over the place that that you know you move a ball around you you have somebody sliding down a, a water tunnel knocking kids out of the way so you win you know that these are silly apps in my mind yes they pass the time but let's use these apps for education let's use them for a purpose 
I kind of feel my games might fulfill that. And I can't make them on my own and sell them on my own because, again, my games that I use are Pixar-related, Disney-related, superhero-related. I, I can't make that. And I want to so just so badly reach out and, and, and work together with anybody in those in those companies to to fulfill this this part of my dream that I just want to keep going I want to keep keep rising to the occasion I, I just I don't want to plateau I want to just keep improving keep moving forward and and sh in showcasing these these new and innovative ways to to convey these skills to students in a fun and imaginative way so if anybody is out there that knows anyone in those companies that can work with me uh, with these apps, um, please reach out. My my number, uh, my uh, DM, you know, Twitter, whatever you want to do. I, I, however you want to reach out to me, feel free. I'm on Twitter at the Mr. Wolf Twelve, and then uh, you can reach me on Facebook. Of course, just search Paul Wolf. That's W U L F F. Let's get this going. Let's get this started. I want to see this happen. I just, I just need somebody to just move that door open so I can put my foot there <laughs> and, and get through there and, and just keep moving forward. And, and this, I feel, is my best, my best way to, uh, to showcase this new and innovative way of, of progressing in, uh, in education. So uh, thank you for listening. I know this is a kind of a lengthy video, but um, please, you know, thumbs up subscribe, do whatever you need to do, pass this on, get this viral, get this word out to Bob Iger, to anybody, Kathleen Kennedy, to to anybody, Kevin Feige, you know, Brad Bird, anybody still out there that uh, that could hear my voice that uh, would, I would love to sit down and talk with. Uh, because hey, right now it's summer and I have nothing going on because school's out um, and I am free to move about the country wherever you are, I will meet with you wherever and whenever because i'm so passionate about this i love making these games i've made 57 different games since that third and fourth grade year competition and i just know that these new ideas with these apps will be so beneficial for both teachers and for students across the country and even the world i don't know but reach out to me guys thanks for listening